Welcome back to Money Live here at the Franchise Expo. I'm Alan Taylor. Dan Dizio, Philly Pretzel Factory. But you're nice and trim. Look at you. Well, they're good for you, pretzels. No they, fat, no cholesterol. It's a mess. So this guy was on Undercover Boss on CBS, and I saw the episode. And they evidently tell me you were the most emotional guy they've ever had on the show. You know what, though? The emotions show that you're passionate about what you do. And to me, that's how I connected with you. I thought it was great. Yeah, it was a great experience for me. Um, you know, I did get a little emotional. I didn't expect to be that emotional, but I wasn't. I was so touched by the employees that work for me and the franchisees that have put their life savings to work and, and bought into basically my dream. And it was a really touching moment. And, you know, I did get a little over emotional, and, uh, but it's just part of it. And that's reality TV. Yeah. Well, but you know what? When you're thinking about doing a franchise, you are buying into the management and the management team. And to me, I told you, I said, don't ever get a spokesperson because you and your passion and your emotions tell me that you are emotionally involved with your brand. And I want that. As, as somebody thinking about a business, I want that. Well, yeah, for me, it's it's more than just pretzels for me. I, I grew up um, as an 11-year-old selling these street, these actual pretzels on the street corner um, all through middle school and high school and into college. So this has been a true dream come true for me. Yeah. So for a moment for the undercover yeah. boss on yeah. CBS, you didn't get to see they shot, what you say, 400 hours of footage? Right. Oh, hundreds and hundreds of hours of footage they filmed. And uh, I didn't get to see uh, a preview of the show. So I had 200 people at my house. My mom's sitting to my right with my arm around her, watching it and just praying that I don't embarrass her too much. And, <laughs> Did you? Uh, Did you embarrass No, nah, she, she was really touched. Yeah. And uh, there were some emotional things that I think as a mom, she was really proud. And, and that made me feel good because I think we're all here to make our families proud. Was there an uptick afterwards? Uh, it was unbelievable. We never... I, I never could imagine the exposure that that show did. I mean, basically, we were on for an hour, primetime TV, and the amount of franchise requests, the amount of sales that we did in our franchise stores have gone up dramatically, and it was just great because we're a small company still in the big scope of things, 130 units, um, but this is really going to catapult us to bigger and better things. I had to stand in line to get to talk to the guy. He was talking to some of the big wigs here at the Franchise Expo. Now, let me ask you, what did you learn about yourself through that process and then watching it play itself out on national television. Yeah. Um, even to myself, I didn't realize I was that emotional of a person. But uh, in a way, it felt good, it felt refreshed, and it, it felt good to, to be completely out there and vulnerable and expose myself um, to everyone. You know? So now, after going through the whole experience of being undercover boss, having these franchises, you know, franchisees buying into your whole business, what have you learned and has it helped you to be a better boss when it's all said and done? Yeah, I've learned a lot from the experience that, um, you know, when they did buy into my dream, they're really buying into my supervision and really being involved and how important it is for them to hear from me and, and visit their stores. Like, I don't think of myself as anybody but just an average guy, a schmo, got lucky making pretzels. But, you know, they want to see me. They want to have involvement with me. And, you know, me going there makes them feel good about the, the decision they made to invest in this company. So it's, it's real important for me. And I made a real point since the show to make sure to visit all the stores on a regular basis. It's tough as we grow, but I think it's an important part and probably the most important part for me. Well, there you go. As you uh, know, the great Paul Harvey said, now you've heard the rest of the story. Dan Dizio, thank you, man. Well, thank you. It's been a pleasure. Great. Great thank seeing you. you here. There's more here at the International Franchise Expo. I'm Alan Taylor. Hang with us. Thanks, Thanks good. Good. I appreciate it.